should stop be rating a tournament live on stream and, <laughs> and well, carry on doing what we're meant to be doing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, I'm just saying. Like, I, I would like to see. So we've got Lewis and Phil. Lewis to start. Uh, who start? Phil to start. Phil to I wish, start. I wish Quokka wouldn't do random starts like this. <laughs> very, very annoying Quokka, especially when I forget to double check who's on which mm -hmm. site. Because mm -hmm. because I'm I'm that ditzy. Mm. Okay, so Phil to start. The score is not oh, four hundred four to three ninety five for this game, but uh, yeah, no, just saying. Oh yes, no, it was it was more that uh, the the thing with Nikki is that the first time that I met Nikki, um, we were having an awful lot of fun, and and if you've been on snippets, you've probably seen at various points that I will ask if she thanked her opponent because the first time that we met, uh, she we're just mentioned. So, okay. So you you can reminisce later. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah. Yes. Starting round twenty. Yes. Something. Four. Twenty four. And so Phil to start again, and open vertically. <laughs> and so. Warrior and a G. Wait, Warrior and a G. So he's right. Rogi does not compare, and Lewis has picked up a bonus, <laughs> a mute or something of that nature. But filled to play first. Um, this is. Kind of an interesting rack. Yeah. Oh, that would. Right. Right. So the thing is, rogier does. Rogier is not a word. Rogi does not compare. So there's that. Um, this is one of those interesting racks where if you get past that, uh, there's a question of, do you want to open long or short here? Um, I mean, then again, there's not there's not that much. I mean, the ER, I guess, I actually, I guess Guiro would be kind of my, now that I'm looking at it, kind of instant play here, um, leaving the ER. Um, there is, of course, the, uh, and in fact, Phil has done that, uh, so now, right, M mutes, um, right, look for double doubles here, there aren't any, right, it's nothing really great through the O, so uh, it's something like M mutes, musette, um, that's going to be probably the play here, ah! Right. There's gum trees. If Lewis really wants to be, uh, if Lewis is thinking of perhaps being a bit aggressive, musties, right. So plenty of things. I'm sure Lewis is, again, just going to take a little bit of time to figure out which play, where he wants to play it, how he wants to play it. Uh, yeah, Mustiz is definitely, definitely because of the overlap, definitely the best thing to And that's well spotted.
Uh, there's a hold on the play. Okay, there's not a hold on the play. Okay, so... <laughs> So now Bill something like Yui is a little bit precious here. Um, I mean, So there is something uh, I mean U E R I N E is not it's what's being suggested by Quackle, but and it's being it's what's being played. And so it says Xenical, which is not a word, but uh but uh, he can play Mezcal from the ME. He can just play. It's the first thing that I that I see. Just Mezcal from the uh, from the ME, which actually it's thirty eight. Um, Looking at some sort of interior, there's a simple za at G6 for what looks like 28. Um, but I feel like just as far as options, um, we've got Mezcal leaving EEN. Um, Measle. <sighs> mm -hmm. One thing, I kind of like Mezcal a little bit better than Measle because uh, Measle does set up easy replies for a lot of points. Mezcal, um, it's a little, it's of course a bit harder to go under the sea for points, it's a bit easier to bonus from the C. Um, but then also there's the S. Um, yeah, Za is also uh, kind of interesting in this case. Um, or something like I see Quackle is suggesting something like Zeit or Zite, I guess, um, to try to go for a bonus here. Um, not enamored with that. Lewis has played Za. Okay. Reasonable. I could also see not wanting to play Mezcal to perhaps open up a juicy S. And Phil has a bun fire. Or a fire bun on his rack. He better put that out. Um, actually, a uh, Burphy. Just uh, just off of the ARE is a little bit volatile, but is kind of nice at cleaning up what problems there are here. Um, and yeah, one thing there are not a lot of one thing given this rack there are not really that many options it doesn't look like because a lot of in order to get a lot of this you need an s you need the q yeah it's a burphy for 24 phil has played fiber okay um I think that's giving up a little too much. UN is okay. Whoa. 
UN is okay. Um, of course, you've got to draw strong to that UN. And so now Lewis with double T double E uh, says the wrong vowels out there does not have the A for tentacle. Um, yeah, and and again, there's just not so much that can be done here just as far as um, spots to play on this board because there need to be, I mean, obviously there's off the E. Um, um, but I'm looking, like I said, the, the spots, um, S's would be helpful here. Um, I mean, even just something like, uh, like tell at 11 E just to kind of open things up and hopefully catch that, um, El well, elect would be super volatile here. It would leave NET as my throat's going a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm also thinking if there's anything, don't think there are any sixes to the I that I'm seeing here. That would be another option. But this is definitely, I mean, there's, there's metal, again, from the ME, not thinking that that's, that's uh, giving way too much up, even though CN is okay. <clears throat> Something like, uh, So yeah, there's uh, Elt. What's he gone for? Is he going for his seat? He's gone for Kelt. Okay, reasonable play. Does give Phil an opportunity to perhaps, I cannot see what Phil's, ah, Phil has the J. And so, yeah, um, this is not a good board to have the J on so much. Um, uh, something like... <clears throat> so, interesting start for Phil here. Um, And yeah, one one thing about this again is that the the spots here to be effective. I mean, yes, Phil does have a T to go off of the F, um, but there's just not a lot. I could see even just for score E D at J six, even though it's kind of a terrible leave, it scores significantly. It's gonna get about thirty points. Which um, just looking to see if there's anything just from the T would obviously be kind of the first place to look here. Um, but yeah, that ED for 29 is the highest scoring option here, and that's what's been played. Yeah, scoring here. So uh, Lewis has entrelled, um, which is the you know phony phony relative of entrelled. And so again, uh, 
it's one thing. This could be guiled. Yeah, it would be nice to kind of open the board and give the rest of that rack some opportunity. And guiled has been played and it's holding, holding. So, um, yeah, guile. Okay. So guile. Yeah, that was a. Oh, so Phil has picked up a blank. Um, so I think the idea here is just to get rid of if there's something and Lewis has drawn somewhat dreadfully here. Um, the one thing again is that there's not that much, I mean, there's not that much to do with the J on this board. Um, uh, certainly uh, Jute um, is there, but that's, uh, there's Judd and Jute, and Jute has been, yeah, I think uh, it's 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 a half dozen of one and six of the other. Judd puts the J next to the double word, but Jute leaves a very you know very potential uh, you know 30, uh, 39, 40 plus play there. Uh, so yeah, yeah, Jerk is there, so. Lewis is going to play for 45. And now, uh, imponent, I mean, ag again, still just kind of a very jammy situation here for Phil with a blank, kind of like last game in the sense that he's got that blank and just needs to catch, uh, catch it for something here. But imponent, yeah, there's just not on not on this board at the time. Um, maybe something like just uh, Timon down from H11 uh, to just give himself a couple more opportunities to, you know, kind of bust the board open. Um, point men. Um, right, obviously from that T. Um... And it also does get rid of the two ends. I hate two ends. Um, right. Suggestion is Emoden. Um, one thing, as I said, uh, Timon, I would say just for the positional consideration of opening up uh, additional parts of the board for this bonus to possibly play on. I guess in Moden, it still does leave uh, seven starting in a vowel from that T across. So then there's a little bit of, and also actually gives seven starting with a vowel down. Um, but my instinct would be to moan here. And then he technically has the tiles that could give him Pumbaa on the next turn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, or, you know, we could go in, uh, we could go in the, uh, the direction of the Bard rather than Disney, because, you know, um, I could see Timon, you know, not trusting anyone else here. Um, so, though, as I said, that's really most of your other options here. Nop is interesting, but again, it's kind of a short score. And if Lewis scores a little bit more, it's going to be down uh, a little bit more than a, than a bonus. So I think that scoring here, keeping what's going to be probably a reasonable opportunity to bonus on the next turn is what's called for here. And <laughs> it's 
so Timon goes down, and then that's Lewis's wreck. <laughs> uh, QW, um, yeah. Um, well, uh, QW, uh, <laughs> Co yeah, not not quite Kobali. Clearly, the play is to play Tong for the Kowali that won't fit on the board. Uh, but one thing, uh, you know, one thing actually, if uh, if Lewis plays something like Gown, um, I can't see. It looks like there are a whole bunch of A's left. If Lewis plays something like Gown at the bottom there, uh, then. And do is if he gets an A, he's going to have Talak on the top for about 60 points next turn. So that's something that I think is interesting and could be a consideration. And Glow, uh, also Glow, he plays Glow, so he's probably trying for something like Trunk as well. Uh, and Phil almost says Iopa Noak again. Um, but optional, Patroon, Pronota, uh, Adoption plays for Phil. Yeah, see, if, if Lewis had played Gown instead of Glow, he would have Talak on this turn. But, uh... Yeah. Biscuit internet bad no. As Phil, Phil has played adoption. Okay. So. Okay. So now, um, as I said, that was, uh, and Phil's picked a pretty good rack. Uh, Lewis could just play QI here for 43. And in fact, he's done. As I said, un unfortunate that uh, fortunate that he had not played down the previous turn because he had that to lock for more points here. Um, Phil's got a speedy rack. Um, Phil's got a speedy rack. So he's got DPs. Uh, which, not shockingly, does not really go anywhere on this board. Um, and so... Uh, right. Uh, so... <laughs> There's a good question of what to do with this rack. Um, something like a PEE or a DEE, maybe even just something like um, EWE down at the bottom there. Um, but then again, Phil's, uh, this is just a very awkward sort of uh, situation with Phil still down uh, 32. Um, I mean, uh, something like EWE, I think, plays a little bit into Lewis's hands here. Um, even though it does balance his rack for a bonus, um, technically. Um, yeah. Um. But then again, what else? 
I mean, something, something like rep to at least give him a, give a little bit more of an opportunity down that line, uh, creating, creating the O column, um, and giving him a bit of an opportunity to play on that. Uh, I mean, what opportunities are there here? Yeah, like P, <laughs> P. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not giggling like a twelve year old here. I'm just thinking that that's uh, that's that's. I think it's just too easy. I think most of the suggestions here. Um, uh, I mean, eventually, what I would say has to happen here is that somehow, I mean, this left side of the board is pretty dead, and the right side of the board is di dying pretty quickly. So Phil's got to breathe some life into this somehow. Um, I think one thing that's kind of interesting to see is kind of interesting as a play. But, I mean, it still leaves him down. This uh, this could very easily devolve into just a very blocked board as if it's already not so blocked. Um, and, yeah, you... What's what's been the play here? Yeah, Debe, <laughs> or perhaps D, but Debe, as in Debe hacerlo. Yeah, uh, that opens at least that does something to breathe some life into the board. Um, Lewis can hit it with Yoni here. Okay. So technical difficulties. Lewis played animation. Okay. And oh, Epinaus. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, I've been dropped and I'm back on here. Uh, but so Epinaus is. A nice to draw for Phil, but again, um, animation is great for just kind of stopping um, what's there. Um, so one thing, uh, as I said, uh, I would say, Right, I mean, Sinopia, Sinopia, not really. Wait, the D. 
I guess, huh. There's, wait, gonna, okay. Think it's too early to do something crazy like drop the end next to the QI. Um, <laughs> um, even though there, there are two S's left. Um, yeah, I would probably, um, like the natural thing to do here would seem to be to play something perhaps um, off of the D&D here. Um, oh, uh, actually, no. Yeah. I think that, yeah, Pina, I think that's reasonable. Um, right, just to keep some things open. Now, even though the K, <laughs> it's not likely that something's going to be from, uh, you know, that something's going to drop from the K. Um, right. So now, yeah. The question is, did Phil hit anything? And what is uh, right? So Lewis is going to die some non on this turn. Um, that's something that I haven't seen before. Be interesting to watch. Um, but yeah, um, oh, not again. <laughs> There have been there have been some difficulties with the uh, with the feed here. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Um, obviously, uh, doesn't want to do something like NY, even though there's there's error. I think that Lewis is going to want to control perhaps uh, perhaps something like day. It's looking at something like yeah, deny deny has been played. Hmm. Okay, so ghostier is Phil's rack. And that should be the only thing on the board. Oh, wow. So I'm just looking at what Lewis has picked up. So uh, Ghostier, there is a question Phil had Rogier earlier, which is not a word, but Ghostier is. So that should go down. But now, uh, now, so Phil is up a little bit, but I think that uh, Lewis might send in the cavalry here. And the cavalry should get him, you know, about 42 points. Keep him with that lead, unless I wonder if he might be thinking about, um, I don't, think there's anything that makes CH at 4A. <laughs> and Phil has drawn over wax. Um, but yeah, as I, as I said, um, to me, it looks like Cavalry is pretty much an insta play at this point. It's going to keep Lewis ahead by about 40. So I guess it's a question. It is a question of spotting. And OK, he's spotted Calvary. 
same difference. And so now fill with overwax. Yes. Um, yes, I know that overwax is not a word. <laughs> um, huh. The question is where to, oh. Um, okay, yes, WH is not a word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, potentially, ah, a vower should be a nice score just down from A10. Uh, a vower is a nice, is a why it also would set up the X for a ah we're down to we're down to also that's that's something mind uh, that we are down to just a few tiles left and there are a bunch of eyes out um, but a vower can threaten actually a vower doesn't really threaten anything with the could threaten O X um. Right, the X is a little bit wex, right? Wex, wex actually looks like it could be safer here. Yeah. So is, there is the option without the X. Um, a vower puts some pressure. Um, and depending on what's in the bag, it might be better to get rid of the X here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, Wex for 36 puts them down five. A Vower, as I said, 41, is that what's, yeah. A Vower, 41. And, oh, wow. So it looks like Phil has an X fish on his last rack. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, it's just something like, well, I think all Lewis has to do here is just go out. into here and uh, and just not <laughs> do something that gives Phil a huge X play here um, or a huge play with fish either. Um, I mean, yeah, there is... Uh, yeah... Uh, in the, uh, right, I mean, uh, so yeah, I'm eyeing that G. Like I see something like Gabion, but I'm not sure that that's going to be enough. Um, uh, even just something like, well, like maybe just Bates here. 
at J10, I think because at least that's that's just an out and two. I don't think Ion can go um, much of anywhere. Um, uh, or rather, Ion has two spots for Bates. Um, Bias, actually, is maybe an improvement on that. Um, but I won't. Uh, Bayesian from the AR also, but actually, yeah, yeah, so, uh, right, Bates looks really good, uh, Ion at, uh, at, uh, at B12, but yeah, lots of, Lots of wins here. Yeah, one thing, um, I think that Phil's best play, or at least one thing that I see that Phil has, as I said, he has an X-Fish. Um, so uh, playing off fish might be his best play. So if Lewis sees that he can block that with Ion, it does give up walks. Um, but wait, is there something? He's played bias up there for 30. That leaves I-O-N. So now, Fish now plays there, which that would be something that does look like that should that should uh, that's yes yeah, so a fish ha huh. fish there for thirty seven is not going to win. It's interesting that bias didn't come up on the options that we had there, but he's given Phil the opportunity to play fish for more points. Um, And yes, uh, Phil has, I'm sorry, uh, Lewis has Wino or Ion. He still has that spot. And well, spread could come into play here. Not sure what the spreads are on uh, Phil and Lewis, um, but so it looks like I'd imagine that this is also going to be the next game because I know they were one up on Austin. Austin had a little bit. Uh, what did uh, he played? Uh, Phil played XI for 29, and so now Lewis uh, has Ion. And so that goes down for 17. Uh, why no? I heard a I heard a clock beep. Okay, so your final 
Looks like uh, Lewis was at 406. To 364, 397 to 364. Are, ah, okay. Are we doing plus minus and I'm not aware of this? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. No. I. I. I will be over. I will be over with bells on, and I do remember that it's plus minus. But uh, yeah, you know, we we Americans are you know all about all about big things, and you know everything's big in America. So so you know adding. <laughs> but yes. Um. Right. I think. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, this was a bit of a slog. Um, Lewis did a pretty good job of just uh, just keeping his, uh, you know, just keeping scoring when he needed to, and uh, and just uh, keeping the position pretty dead there. When to, so, then when when things did open up a little bit, he did get the draws there. So uh, so uh, I know we have to wait, but I'd imagine that we're going to come back with round 25. Uh, checking out the scoreboard here. All right. So and so Austin won his game by 28, but he needed to win by about uh, by about 500 points to, to make it up there. So the scoring continues for Austin Chin. He's in third place, might get second, but I guess we're going to be having a rematch of Phil and Lewis on for the next round. Are you calling me an unreliable source? I'm looking on Center Star and I see that it says Austin beat Paul Allen by 28 points. <laughs> now, now. I know what was going on then because I didn't <laughs> have my mic on. So. <laughs> well, you know, we have to, we have to. And at some point, because certainly the commentary is not doing it. <laughs> You've got to have some banter sometimes. Uh, that's, that's where the fun comes from. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But uh, yeah, I mean, how's I was going to say, how's the feel on the floor? How does it feel? Um, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's as stressy as previous years. Maybe that's because uh -huh. I only got here the last day, so I haven't really been mm -hmm. been so immersed in how the games uh. are going. Uh huh. Yeah, because I'm I'm looking at the scoreboard right now, and we've got uh just for the other place positions. Obviously, it's going to excuse me. It's going to be uh right. Lewis is now on eighteen wins mm -hmm. with about plus thirteen hundred. Phil is on seventeen wins with um a little bit more spread. So Phil just needs to whoever wins the last game is going to win. Um, Austin Chin, as I said, it currently third. On 17 wins, and he's actually sealed third. Uh, no, actually, I'm. That's wrong. Uh, depending on Harshan, um, is currently playing uh, Rafal, which uh, Harshan could move up to third after the last game. Uh, he's currently sitting fourth on 15 wins. He does have uh, still his result yet to come in. Uh, Paul Allen. And Chris Vickery, also on 15 wins. Um, as I said, uh, Harshan, uh, if he wins, he goes to 16. If he loses, then Rafael Dominicak, who very expertly threw in a tie at some point, would be on 15 and a half. So he would be sitting fourth, uh, playing for, uh, you know, those are your, those are uh, your, Top five are going to come from those seven. 
uh, Phil, Phil, Phil and Lewis and Austin are one, two, three at this point. Harshan could move up uh, to there, then Paul Allen, Chris, and Raphael. So pretty exciting. Um, 